with the fifth pick of the 2018 Mock It Up Before You Fuck It Up draft. We got Jay Wayne on the clock. Who you got? Man, this was a toughie. This is like a swing. This is the swing state. This is the this is the turn of the draft. It's it gonna me, be red or blue. Took me probably the longest of all these picks to decide on. I'm I'm picking for Mr. Shicka Dance. That's Casey's team in you know, the twelve man home league that we're all in. Looking at his team, you know, that's the first place I went. He's good at quarterback. He's got some solid running backs, solid wide receivers. Mm, tight ends, little struggle there with Jared Cook. Just Jared Cook hanging out, but John o. Smith on the bottom. John o. Smith and, and, and Gerald Everett. And Gerald Everett. We're so, hopeful for the future with the, the tight end. A couple of good little prospects there. Sure, and either one of those could break out this year, and, and, and Jared Cook's a solid option. Not that tight end is really on the board at all right here in a, in a non-tight end premium, non-two tight end league. This is just one tight end, PPR, one quarterback. Standard issue. Standard ish. Well, nobody's ever lucky to lose David Johnson. But you're going to get him back. Dave, uh, David Johnson goes down week one for Casey here and helps barrel roll his team down to, down to standings there. But when he comes back, he's got a better draft pick this year. He's Like you know, Jay said, he's got some solid solid yeah, talent. But my, my squad got bit by, by, by the old uh, Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb bug there. Yeah, yeah. Carlos Hyde we, took a hit there. Me, me and Big Co have several teams with, with some Hyde action on it. And we first day we were slapping hands. The next day... Oh yeah, when the day Browns, one, in, in you the were pumped, day when, two. when the Browns dodged Saquon Barkley and the Giants took him, we were super excited for our Browns running back love between Duke Johnson and Carlos Hyde spread out across the FF PC league, PC leagues and all that stuff and home leagues and everything else. And sure enough, early in the second round, they grabbed Nick Chubb and just slap us in the face. So you got you got better wide receiver options than than running back for sure. You got Devontae, you got Dougie Fresh, you got Mike Evans, uh Marvin, Marvin Jones, Jones Sterling, Sterling Shepard. Shepard, Chris Hogan, and Terrell Pryor's ever, all very ever solid disrespected options Chris here. Hogan. Sure. For sure. He's been trying to sell him. Can't get value for him that he's worth. Tyrell Williams waiting in the wings on the right. down below. So, so, so I, what I, pick are you making? I can't be mad at you. I really wanted to take DJ Moore here. I was I was struggling with DJ Moore, but then knowing Casey's team, I know he's not going to take a wide receiver here in the top five. Probably not, right? But I mean, did, well, prop no, no. But did did the receiving core sway you away from from the receiver? Maybe pick? a little bit. Maybe it made it a little easier uh, to to go with my boy Carry-on. Johnson. All right, carry ons off the board. There could be a low star review for this because somebody's upset about that. I'm sure. sure. For sure, but if there's one thing I've learned through these these rookie drafts that we've been involved in recently, is that people are higher on carry on than I thought maybe they were. Well, you know, you get a, you get a early early day two selection, selection trade and, up, and it invigorates and some some draft stock of carry on Johnson, someone that we coveted before the process here. Um, and yeah. who knows what's actually going to happen here? I but. don't know if I saw anybody higher on carry on Johnson than us before the no draft. no way not before the draft, but. Yeah. Then, you know, he didn't they, – they like to act like he had a bad combine, but I didn't think it was, was too, too bad. He didn't run a 40, but he had a solid vert and three-cone drill was near seven seconds. I mean, and he, I, don't, I don't really care. I like the tape, man. I, he was my number five running back pre-draft. He's my number five running back post-draft. The fifth running back off the board here, so you're sticking true to your pre-draft rankings here. Nothing's much changed. Right. I mean, this just, dude is just let – me, let me get this guy, man. There's, there's, there's a lot of trade talk, trade back – talk to be had right here and i know we're going to get into that in a second and depending on your league Let's mates carry on as do though but and, and depending on how you know depending on how 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 active your league members are and how long you're on the clock for and how long you have to make deals and stuff you may or may not be able to trade back so sometimes you just got to take your guy right and we're not trading back in this mock draft here so i couldn't be, hit up casey and big co and try and trade one of yeah, these that picks would, that right would take a while so so I'm going. I'm going carry on quite confidently. Uh, I I know that DJ Moore is the alluring, exciting, sexy, glamorous pick here, and I really can't blame you too much if you want to take him. I really wanted to myself, but give me the rock that is carry on Johnson. So what about Penny? Because pe- people are Penny drafted higher. People are loving the Penny, but people did are also weigh, hating on the Seahawks because they're that, like they could have traded. They could have traded back and not taken him did, that high. They did he weigh to. in your decision at all, or was it just carry on nah. and, and and Rojo? Or just carry on and DJ Moore. I, I thought about Rojo. Yeah, sure. I contemplated Rojo, and I I, pro- I gave I gave Penny his 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 due diligence, but he was just Penny's ne- hasn't been my favorite up to this point at all. Uh, we'll get into Penny here pretty soon, and so I'll I'll save 
I'll save my negativity for Penny, I guess. But I just I got all this positivity for carry on. I mean, this dude is just he's just a vicious runner. He's got all the tools in the kit. He's got the mean stiff arm, the sidestep, the lateral cut. He can bully you over. He makes guys miss behind the line of scrimmage in the open field. He's at the top of this draft in when it comes to pass protection, and he's an underrated handsy catcher. Right. And he plays through injury. I mean, I just I just love everything about carry on. I love this offense. Um, they've they've done some. They've got a decent offensive line. Um, I know Matt Stafford doesn't love to hand the ball off. The Lions generally don't, but they got a new head coach, and right. maybe the thing is changing here. And I, and and they they moved up to get him. I like that a lot. Big I mean, Co they got Legarrette Blunt on a one. You move up deal. to get a guy because on you're on his radar, right? <laughs> I mean, everybody's on my radar with the Lions. It's my team, and I've been telling right. you guys for the last couple of years on the show. They, they've told us that they're going to pound the rock and they're going to change things up. And I've told you not to listen to them, not to listen to them, not to listen to them. So now you got the change in the coach and the first round pick is offensive lineman. Love that. Some, some, uh, you know, steps in the right direction last year on the offensive line, but it just fell apart again when it comes to running the ball. And next thing you know, we got a dude named Teon Green in there leading us for carries toward the end of the season. Things just, the whole running back position for the Lions, wheels fell off again last year, just like I told you it would. I did have some hope for, um, what's his name, Amir Abdullah, but it just, it never came to fruition last year. Change up the staff, change up some things. First round offensive lineman, again, they've been doing this for a couple years now, trying to fit, get this thing right. J. Wayne Smitten for Carry On Johnson. Casey loves Carry On Johnson. I really, really, really like Carry On Johnson. I probably like him the least out of the three of us, and I like him a lot. So that's saying something. We all really like him a lot. Um, I, J. Uh, Casey didn't bring, didn't wait too long to throw Rashad Penny in Jason's face on this pick. We we're talking about the one five here in this mock it up before you fuck it up. So you got Carry On Johnson, the one five pick from and and. Jay Wayne hit a nail on the head. Some we pl we got one and this league exactly last year when it ran off the draft, the rookie draft, we had ten minutes per pick. Right. So it was hot and heavy and sweaty, making phone calls, texting people. You got two computer screens up. You're trying to make deals. You only got ten minutes, and there was only like two trades all draft. And it's most of that stuff was worked out. It was went on later in the draft when you had time to think about it. Oh no, it. I was under the I, I, Casey called me. He had one ten, and Mike Williams was there, and I was like, "Let me get Mike Williams." I got ten minutes. So let's get this <laughs> right, deal done. Right, right, right. <laughs> totally blew my cool. <laughs> didn't even gave him didn't, whatever he wanted. Didn't even counter back. <laughs> so I know you gave him my best offer first. Sometimes you got to take your guy, and that's what you did there because Carryon Johnson is your guy, and I don't blame you one bit. I like Carryon Johnson, and I hope it works out. I hope it works out a ton for the Lions and carry on johnson together if it's me i don't know if in the one five spot i can pass up on rashad penny and i'll tell you why i guess when we talk about rashad penny but right now i love carry on johnson pick for the lions like like casey said he was the fifth pick off the board he's the fifth pick in this draft darius geist came back up in this draft he fell down penny is the one missing here off of that five picks of who got picked in the actual nfl draft so i don't blame you for taking him i hope it works out for the lions i wouldn't take him at one five do what Casey said, what well, what you alluded to. If I'm sitting at one five and I really won't carry on Johnson, I think it's an easy two or three pick trade back to to move back and take him, grab some equity, throw it in the bank, pick carry on Johnson two or three picks later. There's no reason that you have to take him at five. So, so we'll jump into maybe a little bit more of this trade talk about why and how and 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 whatnot here. But before we do, like I, I want to, I like care the reason I like carry on Johnson, all the reasons that jason mentioned but the biggest thing that stuck out to me and when we talked about him is, is when we mentioned like i just felt like he was one of those guys who outside of those top guys he was just another guy for me that i just felt very comfortable wherever he went he didn't need a scheme to, to help him do anything yep he and just needs the ball he could catch the ball he could run between the tackles he could elude you he could do everything you need him to do and they have a new head coach. They come in and they get a guy who they haven't had on this roster. A guy who they don't need to change anybody out. Yeah. He carry on Johnson can stay on the field. For any yeah. play. For any play and do anything they need him to do. Yeah. That's why I'm into this pick. I mean, yes, I would the penny the whole penny thing and why and all that. I, penny, but I, like I had where Penny you're going evaluated under uh Carry Rojo on. and carry on before this process starts and maybe some of that shifted and we're going to get into Penny in, yep. in a minute and I'll talk about all that 
but but hammer home. I like where you're going with that carry on right there. I but like I, where you're going with that. I, I felt like he was pretty insulated in in what he didn't need a whole lot to help him out. He's very versatile. He can do a bunch of stuff. And then on top of that, you get a new head coach who comes from the Patriots, who are typically one of the most balanced team in the league. Yep. And he's been around that organization for a long time and known what to do. He's defensive minded. So you. I, obviously, we're talking about hyperbole and all that kind of stuff right now. Some people, this drains them, but this is what this is really all about. Sure. If this drains you, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, so Being staunch. You got, you got a defensive coach here who probably wants to play defense and run the ball. And yeah. you retained your offensive coordinator, so that doesn't weigh great for getting into the run game. But you have a head coach who can be like, hey, Bo, we're about to take this guy. We traded up for this guy. And in the first round, oh, by the way, we took a center. And I love these right. teams just like – Chubb and, and the Browns, they went and paired name. up a, a, a running back and a lineman, and the Giants took, you know, switched it up a little yeah, bit, but still yeah, got yeah. a good lineman late. Ragnow, first round you pick see the for the intention Lions, of the team. You see the is, intention. Who is a very solid player who they're going to go in and they've got him penciled in as immediate starter. Supposed to be a stud. He played center and guard, so the Lions can kind of figure out where he fits. They're not 100% sure. Maybe Glasgow slides over, mm -hmm. um, who, who's a good pick. And, th and they've actually got a pretty good offensive line as well. Lang and Wagner. Right. Uh, you got you got the right side with Rick Wagner, who was PFF's 11th graded uh, right tackle. Uh, you got TJ Lang, who was PFF's 13th. Uh, graded uh, guard, I right. believe. Yep. Um, so th th this this unit could really come together. Now you got a center and Glasgow slides over, um, or maybe maybe not. And then they went and picked uh, Terrell Crosby from from Oregon. Here, I don't know a ton about offensive linemen. I'm not pretending like I do, but I know <laughs> I know the name Terrell Crosby from Oregon, who is paving the way for Royce Freeman to do his thing. There you go. Who's kind of a, a little bit more of a versatile piece, um, strong run blocker. So. I, I like what they did there. They short tried to shore up a piece, which they've been trying to shore up for a little while. But sure. they, they brought in free agents who played decent, and they had some injuries. And by the way, your best player, Taylor Decker, was hurt most of the season last year. Exactly, so exactly. he comes back in, doesn't play that great, coming off a torn labrum, I think, which is a tough injury to come back from, especially if you're an offensive lineman, and that's what you rely on. Right. So you get all these pieces back, and now you have a different head coach with maybe a little bit different mindset, and maybe we could play with a little bit more balance for once in the life of the Lions. I, what you everything you just now said about the Lions and carry on Johnson and coaching and scheme and hyperbole uh, you, let me let me just unpack that just a minute because you said a ton and a lot and there was so much good stuff in there and Jay Wayne said play it safe and that's why he took carry on Johnson Casey said it in the pre-draft process and one of the first things he said about carry on Johnson was he felt like he was good to go anywhere and he didn't need a necessary didn't need a certain scheme to be good and the, both of those, I say it all the time to try to make a to play it safe with your startup picks and don't screw it up. And it needs to be the same exact type of idea with a rookie draft. To an extent, at a Nothing certain point wrong. in the draft, you can start. Well, yeah, uh, you yeah. can start screwing okay. it up. <laughs> right? Yeah, you can start. You can start taking straight home run cuts. But there, to an extent, well, you you need to play it safe and get somebody solid. So I like that you brought out. We can put all that together. Like you said. You got a new coach coming in. He's coming in with the Patriot way. It may not be Bill Belichick, but it's just like we said with Nagy going to the Bears. You think Nagy's going to go over there to the Bears and not throw and not use a tight end type offense? What what got him where he is and got him a head coach? You think Matt Patricia's going to go? Matt Patricia, when they made that carry on, when they, when they made the offensive lineman pick, they zoomed into the war room. He's got a pencil in his ear, Bo. He's doing what got him there. He's got he's an offense he's a he's a head coach because of the way he held, handled himself running that defense working under Belichick for years he comes over to the Lions got his pencil in his ear extremely Nothing smart guy I think he's a rocket an actual rocket scientist <laughs> no no I'm serious no no I believe you so nothing's changing so the fact the Patriot way was try to and it's not it's not a secret the Giants said they wanted to do this a while back and the, and the Lions tried to do it last year with Amir Dula and it's what everybody needs to be trying to do if you don't have a Leonard Fournette bell cow ram it down your throat if you can run the ball when the defense thinks you're passing it and you can pass it when the defense thinks you're running it which they got the passing part down right they can pass it they can pass it <laughs> if they can but get balanced if they have if with all the passing that they have with the pass catchers that they have and the and the stud quarterback that they have who may not be what on people's list as a stud quarterback same thing i said about matt ryan two years ago matt stafford is growing into his arm he's coming into his mind he's coming into his mental prime his arm has been top three in the league for years now but now his head's coming around because he's been in the league for a while and quarterbacks turn good you know most of them get good not in the first couple years you know like everybody like you know 
Brady wasn't Brady his first couple years. He had a good defense, good running game. Anyway, I digress. So play it safe with the rookie pick. You got the running back that's going to stay on the field here when they pass it and run it. I, I, I love it. I really do. I love Kerryon Johnson to the Lions. I don't know if I love the one five pick on Carry On Johnson, but I like what well, you said well, there. I'll get back to that in just a second. So bottom end for the Lions here. Bottom end, thirty first. Only Miami was worse in attempts last year. Right. Twenty uh, first in touchdowns from the running game. Worst yards per game. Last in yards per attempt. Like yeah. Well, that's what I was. It was just they 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 didn't try it and they didn't do it exactly. well and it was it's just. I got off on my tangents like I do when I was talking about Stafford, and I broke thought. This is a guy Stafford, that they can try to do it all for with everything, and for out. all the skill that you've seen Stafford show you in the last couple of years and being a good football player. He hasn't had a play action pass. Right. That's what I was trying to say. I got off got off topic. If if you give Stafford a running game with those pass catchers and what he can do. Now everything gets better for the offense and harder for the defense going against him. He hasn't been able to pretend like he was handing it to anybody and the defense care. I think they were last in yards behind the line after contact for running backs in that or somewhere along that in the lines were now. Hopefully <laughs> you you're going to well, keep real oh, quick. Hold on, hold on. Hopefully you're going to keep listening before you make some stupid comment on YouTube about how you take carry on Johnson at 5 and how you guys are so dumb because I'm okay with taking the pick at five, but I, I'm 100% with you. I don't think you have to take carry on Johnson at five. Oh, if no you really way. There's want no carry on Johnson. No need. So I do think this starts a slow dance trade back scenario where you can slowly work your way back <laughs> yeah. and start acquiring assets. I mean, right. well, hold on real quick. Real quick before we get on to this trade talk, I just want to throw one last thing in there. Let's say that the Lions decide not to do any of this hardcore uh I formation running carry on his whole career ran out of the shot. Right. No, you don't need so to. So he be, plays yeah. right into what the Lions have yeah, done in the I, past and he can do I'm well with what they're trying I to formation. transition to. I'm so just yeah, I'm just actually executing the run. Right. Worse than attempts, worse than average. Right. You know. But he fits in right within with that shotgun formation sure. that they always I think he, so, that's what I'm he's versatile. Right. Good point. So back to the trade talk, right? We were in we're in the ultimate dynasty podcast league and it's a super flex league, so the quarterbacks are highly coveted. We had one six. Right. So the numbers on the board around. right we had one six and and and, and it's like a couple uh, a couple quarterbacks have gone off the board and we're sitting there and we got we got this to decide Pretty much all the, the quarterbacks thing, besides josh allen we got the same thing to decide that i just had to right we had carry on on the board dj moore rashad penny rashad penny no Mojo. well we were at one six and traded back to one nine and so then all we the quarterbacks back, went off right yeah so that like so we, that, we i'm just using thing. that as gotcha. an example right we're sitting there and we're like Man, I could really take carry on right here, but we should probably try and trade back, which we did. We ended up trading back because I'm okay up with some even even if somebody does take carry on or most likely not taking carry on, I'm right. okay with ending up with Penny. I'm okay with ending up with Rojo. I'm okay with ending up with DJ Moore if I absolutely had to. I'd probably trade back again, but right, all those kind of things. This is a perfect spot to just kind of be slowly working your way back and acquiring assets. Absolutely, exactly. And you mentioned slow dance, like put your hand up on her shoulder. At the very top of her shoulder, and put your hand up high mid back. Don't even don't get, even don't try even to go get, towards that. Don't even try to lower it down and get some of that nice yeah. curve. Don't even get the near the nice curve. of her back. Don't even the get swole. near it. Get up into high back, the middle midriff. school dance. No chest to chest. Eyes straight ahead. Yeah, no. Ch you're not even trying to get up on those boobs. You're you, you got a foot and a half. You between are taking you. no chance of popping one. No, no chance of little chub. <laughs> And then you just slow dance it around and do and stay patient. If you got one of those eight, ten hour, twelve hour, twenty four hour pick clocks for your rookie draft, use it. Who ca it's your rookie draft, and you won't have another one until next year. And if you're already in a dynasty league, you're just your startup's gone, and that was the fun, work and the it's picks. gone. Work the work picks, it. work the room, see what you can get, see, dance around. Slow dance. It's a slow dance. Anchor one way. Give them something, work yeah. back the other way. Yeah, throw out something ridiculous. Don't give them your best offer first. Hell Just, no. And don't be upset with somebody being like, oh, this guy gives me bad offer. Like, don't be the bad offer guy. But, like, don't make be it, the make really it, bad Make it guy. reasonable so that you see where I'm going. Right. And, and if you ever, ever send, send back me. a trade calculator, <laughs> leave the league because you're a jackass. I don't care what the trade calculator says. And if you're playing Dynasty Fantasy Football and can't figure out where you value people for yourself, I don't want to play with you. I don't want to be in a league with you. And don't ever send that to me. <laughs> don't I send love it to it anybody. When Casey's in trade negotiations and the last thing said is a trade calculator. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's funny. Figure it out, Bo. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Well, but the, so for me, I mean, one one through four, 
is is definitely a tier, and maybe there's some tiers within there. But then five through you know eight or nine is like another tier. And if you can trade out of the top five, if you can well, trade yeah. out of five and move back to eight or nine and, and pick, up, especially pick up something down the road. You get somebody who's a Royce Freeman guy. You add another guy to that mix. Exactly. And, right. Well, you just said a guy. Here's the thing. It won five if it goes the way we just said, and it probably won't because there's a Rashad Penny guy in every room, maybe four of them, okay? There's a Ronald Jones guy in every room, maybe two or three of them. There's a DJ Moore guy in every room, maybe two of them. There's going to be a Royce Freeman guy that's going to be chomping at the bit to take him after those guys fall off. And there might be a Carryon Johnson guy in every room too. He's not getting the love that some of these other guys are getting. We're going to talk about the real real fat, good stuff about the Rashad Penny stuff because he's, he's up next. 